I'm Dr. Derek Damon. I'm an allergist and immunologist. I'm an assistant professor of clinical medicine in the Division of Allergy, Pulmonary, and Critical Care Medicine. And today, we're gonna to talk about winter allergies. What are winter allergies? Winter allergies are the same allergies we're exposed to the rest of the year, but unlike seasonal allergies, we're only exposed to them by themselves in the winter. Those allergens include dust mites, animal dander, such as cats and dogs, and mold. How can I minimize allergies during travel? One of the key things you can do to minimize allergies during travel is trying to avoid the allergen itself. Allergists often talk about avoidance, and a, although sometimes we don't have any control over this exposure, there are several things you can do, whether staying in a hotel or at someone's home, to minimize your exposure. One of those things is to ask for a hypoallergenic room if available at your hotel. They might provide dust mine encasements for your mattress and your pillows, or a HEPA filter for your room. The other thing is communication and just talking with uh, the homeowner if there are any pets that you might need to be concerned with. Again, having a, a HEPA filter uh, would be beneficial. Medications can also improve your symptoms. You talk with your primary care doctor or your allergy specialist uh, about which medications uh, could be beneficial. Some of these medications are over the counter, others are prescription. Some of them can be started uh, right away, others uh, will need a few weeks in order to build up to decrease your symptoms. Are pet allergies common in the winter? Pet allergens are year-round allergens, but often we're only exposed to them in the winter, especially during holiday travel. There's actually something called the Thanksgiving effect as it pertains to college students. Those students who used to be around a pet all the time have now been away at college, and when they come back at Thanksgiving, their symptoms are more severe. These symptoms can include itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, nasal congestion, uh, and even wheezing if they have asthma. Does cold weather impact asthma symptoms? Asthmatics have a lot of triggers. Common ones include environmental allergies like animal dander, but they also can be triggered uh, by emotions or irritants. Cold air is often an irritant that due to the low humidity and the temperature, this is a local effect in the airway, often causing bronchospasm. How do you treat winter allergies? Allergists tend to group their treatments into the categories of avoidance, medications, and allergy shots if appropriate. 